In this video, I'm going to be telling you about every single fighting style in Bloxburg, from the ones you already know about to the ones that you never knew existed. And starting off, we got the basic combat fighting style. Every single player that joins the game gets this, and for that reason, it's also the weakest fighting style in the whole game. And there's literally no point leveling it up, so I recommend switching to another fighting style as soon as possible. Moving on to the next fighting style I got here, it's the Dark Step fighting style. Now, this is a fighting style that costs a total of 150,000 belly, and you can learn it from an NPC called the Dark Step Teacher, who's located at the Pirate Village between these buildings. The very first ability of this fighting style is called Flying Kick. Then we got the X ability, which is called Breakdance. Then we got the C ability, which is called Barrage. Then we got the V ability, and this basically just lights your legs on fire and makes it so you deal more damage when the transformation is active. Good things about this fighting style is it's pretty good for farming in the first C. It's currently the cheapest fighting style that you can buy in the game. It also has decently low master rate. Requirements. Moving on to the cons of this fighting style, its M1 ability is actually pretty bad for farming. It's also slow and weak in PvP, and it's not really good for people that main fruit. But did you know that you can actually upgrade this fighting style? The fighting style you can upgrade it to is Death Step. It costs a total of 2.5 million belly as well as 5,000 fragments. You can get it from an NPC called Fio the Reform by meeting these requirements. First, you need to get the library key, which can be dropped by the Awakened Ice Admiral at the Ice Castle on the second sea. Once you do that, you can unlock this door at the entrance. Once you walk in there, you can talk to the NPC, but you do have to have your Dark Step fighting style up to at least a 400 level mastery which is going to make it incredibly difficult to get this fighting style moving on to this fighting style's ability the z ability changes to rocket kick it basically just changes the ability so you slam straight into the ground and destroy your enemy then we've got the x ability which changes into wind bullet where you shoot out a ranged attack just like you're using a sword then we've got the c ability which is called vermilion drill where you basically just lock your enemy in place and just pummel them with a bunch of kick the v ability is still the transformation it just looks a little bit cooler now and its name changes to maximum overheat overall this is a fighting style with good combo potential because it can just lock your opponent in place. Moving on to the cons, it still has slow M1 speed and it's pretty hard to hit opponents when they're really far away from you. Anyways, let's head over back to one of the basic fighting styles, the electric fighting style. It costs a total of 500,000 belly and you can get it from an NPC called the Mad Scientist who's located next to these rocks next to Skylands. Once you get this fighting style, you're gonna unlock three abilities. It has a decent click speed, it's a very good choice for beginners and all of its moves can actually damage CBs. But the bad things are that damage is honestly overpowered by the other fighting styles in the game. But you can actually upgrade this fighting style to something a lot more powerful. The Electric Claw Fighting Style. First of all, you need to pay the hefty price of 3 million belly as well as 5,000 fragments. Then you need to get a 400 mastery on your Electric Fighting Style. Then you have to head over to the Floating Turtle Island and find an NPC called the Previous Hero. Once you talk to him, he's gonna give you a quest that requires you to get to the mansion in under 30 seconds. And this is actually pretty easy to do because you can just set your spawn at the mansion and just teleport there once you activate the quest. Anyways, the very first ability of this fruit has 110 mastery requirement, which is pretty crazy if you ask me. It actually has two different versions. For the first version, you just dash straight into your enemy and for the second version, you hit them with a bunch of claw strikes and then dash into them. Moving on to the X ability, we got lightning thrust. And for this one, you basically just dash into enemy and deal a butt ton of damage to them with electricity. The speed at which you fly at them depends on how long you hold the ability key down for. Anyways, moving on to the C ability, it's called thunderclap and flash, where you just basically dash into your enemies a bunch of time and slam them right back into the floor. The good things about this fighting style are that the quest for it is extremely easy because you can just cheese it. It has really high damage, has amazing mobility, and literally all of its moves can be used for movement, even its M1 ability. But the bad things are that it has incredibly high master requirements, literally 330 to unlock all the abilities. Anyways, let's head back to one of the first C fighting styles. We got Water Kung Fu, and it costs a total of 750,000 belly, which makes it the best fighting style in the first C. But the thing about this fighting style is not actually its abilities that make it overpowered, it's the delay between the M1 attacks. This is the only fighting style in the game that does not have a delay between its M1 attack, which makes them incredibly good for grinding, especially with the Buddha food. But just like the previous two fighting styles, you can actually upgrade it to Sharkman Karate later on, when it costs a total of 2.5 million belly as well as 5 5,000 fragments, but it does have a specific quest. You have to head over to an NPC called Dyrock the Sharkman who's located at the Forgotten Island, and then you have to give him a water key which you can get by defeating a Tide Keeper. The first ability is called 12 Water Palms, but honestly I just use this ability for mobility. Anyways, let's move on to the next ability. It just shoots out a blob of water, sending your enemy flying with it. Then we got the C ability called Great Sea Spear, where you just suck your enemy towards you and send them flying far away. The good things about this fighting style is that it has pretty high damage, good combo potential, all of its moves can damage CBs, but the bad things are that honestly, X ability actually requires a a lot of aim because it's not that fast compared to other abilities and fruits. But other than that, it's honestly just the best fighting style in the whole game. Now we're heading to a V1 fighting style called Dragon's Breath and it costs a total of 1.5 thousand fragments. And you can get it from an NPC called Sabi who's located at a part of the bridge in the second sea. The good things about this fighting style is that it's relatively cheap, it has good damage range and decent hitboxes and all of its moves can hit multiple enemies at the same time. Honestly the bad things are that it has really slow abilities so it's not really recommended for PvP. If you're trying to grind with this fighting style it actually dashes on your fourth M1 click so that's really inconvenient. This also has an upgraded version called Dragon Talon. You can get this in the third sea, it costs a 
total of 3 million belly as well as 5,000 fragments. First, you have to get Fire Essence from the Death King. Then you have to go to an NPC called Uzalt who's located at the Haunted Castle. But I also forgot to mention that you have to have a 400 mastery on Dragon's Breath just like the other V1 fighting style. Anyways, let's get over to the abilities. First up, we got the Z ability and this one is called Talon Lighter where you dash straight into your enemy and just burn them up. Literally, the fire turns blue. Look how cool this looks. Then we got the X ability and this one is called Ember Annihilation and for this one you just shoot out a huge projectile towards your enemies and dealing a lot of damage to them. Then we got the C ability and this one is called Infernal Vortex. The good things about this fighting style is it honestly has big hitboxes and decent area of damage and it gives distortion to your enemies when you hit them. Let's head over to the fighting styles that you did not know existed. The first one that I got here is the Superhuman Fighting Style and a lot of you might have not heard about this because it's incredibly difficult to obtain. To get this fighting style you need a 300 mastery on Dark Step, Electric, Water Kung Fu as well as 300 on Dragon's Breath. Once you all of these requirements you can go talk to the martial arts teacher who's located at the snow island and pay him 3 million belly. The good things about this fighting style is that it has extremely high combo potential, all of its moves can literally be used for combos and it also has extremely good knockback, amazing damage and honestly overall a really good fighting style. But the cons are that obviously its moves are not really good for grinding, it's just really good for pvp. But would you believe me if I told you this fighting style also has an upgraded version, it's called god human and it is the most powerful fighting style in the whole game. To get it you need a 400 mastery on superhuman Death Step, Electric Claw, Shark Man Karate, as well as a 400 Master on Dragon Talon. And once you meet the requirements, you can head over to the Ancient Monk who's located at the Floating Turtle Island and you can pay him a total of 5 million belly as well as 5,000 fragments and a butt ton of materials and then you can finally get your hands on this overpowered fighting style. Anyways, let's get into the abilities of this one. The Z ability is called Soaring Beast where you dash straight into your enemy and just pummel them a butt ton of time. The X ability is called Heaven and Earth and has two different versions. For the first one, you shoot out a small projectile that deals damage to your enemy. For the second one, you start hitting the air around you, dealing a butt ton of damage to everything you you're standing next to. Then we got the C ability and this one is called 6th Realm Gun. This one you just dash into enemy, hit them and send them flying. Overall this fighting style is really hard to miss, it has amazing combo potential, literally the best out of any fighting style in the whole game. It also has incredibly high damage and amazing stuns. And for the cons you already know what I'm gonna say, it's just incredibly difficult to get. Anyways let's move on to the next fighting style called Sanguine Art. This is actually the latest fighting style to be added to the whole game. And the way you get this is actually pretty unique, you don't need a mastery requirement like a bunch of the previous ones, for this you need the Leviathan Heart. You can get that by obviously defeating the Leviathan boss. Once you do that, you have to get a total of 20 Demonic Wisp, 20 Vampire Fangs, 2 Dark Fragments, and once you give that to the Shafi NPC, you pay them 5 million bellies as well as 5,000 Fragments, then you can finally get the fighting style. Anyways, let's get into the abilities. The normal attack of this fighting style is actually pretty cool. It's similar to the Electric Claw fighting style where you just shoot a bunch of aura just deal damage to whatever you're clicking at. The Z ability is called Bloodbane Drain, where you dash into your enemy and just hit them with a bunch of attacks. The X ability is called Scarlet Tear, where you just shoot out a huge sword projectile similar to the Saber Sword. The C ability is called Devourer of Worlds, where you just shoot out a bunch of orbs that deal damage to your enemies. The good things about this fighting style is all of its moves can hit CBs and all of its moves can break instincts, which gives it pretty good combo potential. But overall, it's a really good fighting style, and if you get your hands on this, then I recommend using it. That's pretty much it.